This is Antoine. And this is his carnival. And this is a robot that makes ice cream. Antoine is an entrepreneur, and a couple years ago, he decided to launch an enterprise to show people how powerful sustainable energy can be. That it's an energy source like any other that can power anything from a home to a car to a mini donut stand. We had an early morning conversation with Antoine about how and why you'd want to get a roller coaster running on renewables and what it means to get a generation of kids thinking thoughtfully about their energy use on this episode of Renewable. Sustainable is about making learning fun. It's about making what might be a daunting, complex conversation and boiling it down to mini donuts. <laughs> right. Mini donuts and waste French fries powering your ride on the Gravitron. So I'm Antoine Palmer. I'm one of the co-founders of Sustainable. This is the world's first green carnival. So basically we have a full two and a half acre carnival midway that runs entirely on renewable energy. And it's a non-profit educational platform to teach about clean tech and energy literacy. So a big part of the power on site here comes from biodiesel. We run large generators on, on biodiesel. Our biodiesel is mostly made from waste vegetable oil. So we're actually taking a waste product uh, that is used to make your french fries and your you know, tempuras or whatever it is you like to eat that's deep fried. And uh, so we're taking that waste product, we're turning it into a fuel. It's a carbon neutral fuel because when we combust the fuel, it releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But the carbon dioxide that's being released is coming from the plant matter and it's in the plant matter because those plants actually scrub that CO2 out of the air in the first place, right? So the same thing happens in a, in a canola plant, for example. It's pulling carbon out of the air, it's creating the structure of the plant, it's creating the seed. There's a high content of oil in the seed. We can use that oil to fry, to fry foods and we can take that waste product and we can turn it into a fuel and we can use that to run our rides. Biofuels are definitely renewable. You can always grow more vegetables to extract oil from. But the question at the heart of this is, are they sustainable? Biofuels burn just like traditional fossil fuel, and it produces carbon when it's burned. But even though biofuels emit carbon, that carbon is then absorbed when you grow more crops to turn into biofuel. It's not a perfect system as it takes additional energy and water to grow the crops, but the fact that we can use all of our existing generators and engines with a renewable fuel source that converts carbon into energy is a huge improvement over fossil fuels. But for Antoine, it's not just about the fact that rides run on biofuels. It's about the conversation that this whole spectacle sparks. We wrapped up by talking with Antoine about Edmonton's role, not just in conversation, but in realizing some of the ideals of sustainable in the real world. Edmonton also has a ton of capacity, right? Like we're very good at engineering, we're very good at logistics and moving things around, we're very good at drilling holes, which is why now there's an interesting geothermal conversation happening at the University of Alberta. So, you know, there's a lot of capacity here, a lot of industrial capacity that is all very relevant to the needs of deploying renewable energy infrastructure across the province. Uh, and we can't be complacent. <laughs> we have to continue to adapt to how things are changing globally around with the climate, uh, with new technologies that are becoming available and the economic implications of that, right? And it's important that we don't fall behind. We want to remain competitive as a province. We need to be on the edge of what's relevant technologically. And so there is an active conversation in this, in this city and in this province where there are really smart people who are leading this initiative and they're helping to bridge the gap between our traditional industries and the new promising industries that are starting to spread up. In this season of Renewable, we are going to be looking at people, engineers, entrepreneurs, thinkers, and activists, each with their own unique vision of a sustainable future in the heart of Canada's fossil fuel industry. Follow us at Yeg Climate to find out when new episodes are coming out, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we hope to have you back for the next episode of Renewable. <laughs>